Hello, Appreciative Traveler here. We recently went to the Epcot Flower and Garden Festival 2023. This is the little booklet that you get and has all the food and drink items in there and a little overview of the festival. It is by far my favorite time of the year to go to Epcot. And this year was no exception. It was absolutely beautiful. The food was delicious. They have tons of variety. And I'm going to try to give you a little bit of an overview of some of the food items that we personally tried. Couldn't try everything, obviously. But I also took pictures of the various uh, menus with prices so you can get an idea. Please keep in mind, these are all samples, but you probably tell that by the prices. I also tried to take pictures of menus that actually had uh, photos of some of the food items on there so you can get kind of a little bit of an idea. I will also have some pictures of some of the flowers. I have a small video of the butterfly garden from this year is fantastic, absolutely beautiful. And I don't wanna ruin the whole festival for you, so hopefully I gave you enough of a sampling that you can decide whether or not you want to go. So for food, we ate at Citrus Blossom and we had the orange sesame tempura shrimp and the citrus baked brie. Both were phenomenal, absolutely delicious. We love those. I would recommend those. And from Barn Mart, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, the potato pancake with ham, onion, and melted Gruyere cheese. And that was absolutely delicious uh, from my childhood. I love potato pancakes, but I haven't had them in years. So that was kind of a really nice treat. The last place we're at was the Honey Bee, Honey Bistro. <laughs> And we had the chicken and waffles and the pollinator flatbread. Um, my husband loved the chicken and waffles. I personally thought the chicken was a bit dry and the flatbread was delicious, but I really like goat cheese and there were maybe two tiny little crumbles on the flatbread. And even for a small sample size, I thought there definitely could be a little bit more to be able to taste the goat cheese. So that's just a little overview of the things that we were able to get. And um, you can decide for yourself when you go. There's quite a variety. There is something for everyone. So I hope you'll enjoy the next little bit of clips and a couple of videos so you can get a small taste of the Epcot 2023 Flower and Garden Festival. Hey, Appreciative Traveler here. I am at the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival 2023. This is going to give you an idea of what the foods are, drinks, and some of the beautiful flowers. Hope you enjoy. Okay. This butterfly garden is a beautiful addition to the Flower and Garden Festival. Look how beautiful this butterfly garden is. This is new, I don't remember this last year. Just a heads up, this is how small the $12.50 each honey cobbler freeze is at. The, I think it's the honeybee area. It's pretty small, but it is very good.